Hi, in our series of videos that we are covering uh, for Hikvision NVRs that have a single um, LAN connection on them and we want to add on multiple um, IP cameras, um, there's a few steps to it, okay? So let's just talk about quickly why we would do this, why we're talking about this. Is, well, um, it's much cheaper to buy a Hikvision NVR that has a single LAN connection, okay? And uh, the big disadvantage of it is it's difficult um, are not as obvious anyway on how to add on multiple cameras. So what we have in front of us here, for instance, is the DS7600 series of NVRs. It has a single input on it. It's probably about a third of the cost of the ordinary eight port NVRs, and it can support up to eight IP cameras. So what we want to do here is, in the first series video, we'll cover the topic of how we come along and change the IP addresses in the cameras. And on this thing, we're going to go through how we can add those cameras onto our NVR and actually come along and view them on the screen here simultaneously. So the terms of the setup that I have in front of me here, I have our NVR, I have a connection coming off of a switch, which has two locally powered IP cameras, which are um, being, uh, and the output has been displayed onto the screen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use a LAN connection here coming off of the switch and plug it directly in to the LAN port on the back of our Hikvision NVR. So now I have the two cameras via the switch connected on here. So what I'm going to do here is the very first thing is just going to go into the menu here and uh, I'm just going to go through our password here, which we've set up on our NVR. And I'm going into the maintenance mode and when I go into maintenance here, I'm just going to go to systems information and I'm going to go to network and I'm going to see that the local uh, IP address has been allocated to the NVR is 192.168.1.64. And the problem that we covered in the other video in our series here was um, the fact that all of the IP cameras from Hikvision came with exactly the same IP address and we can't have that conflict. So we needed to go log in individually, change that, and we have a video on how to do that. So we have our NVR and now we have two cameras that we've added on to do it. So what we want to do is we want to go back out of here, go into our menu thing, go into cameras, and what we want to do here is IP cameras. There's none showing, even though there should be, um, but we'll just have to connect them on here and we're going to hit refresh. And it's going to come along and say, I'm looking out in the network here and I'm trying to see if there are any cameras we can see there. And what we do here is we see we have two cameras here, okay? So I just want to say, let's add this camera on. So you're going to add the first one on. So it detects it on the network and says there's a camera. And if I come back out of here, all the way out, we'll see there's a camera in the background where we hadn't got one before. So if we just go back in again, and if I add the second one on here, it's coming along. And we'll see the IP address for that is dot one two, where the one above was dot um, two four, whatever like that. I'm not exactly sure what we had it set for. So then if we just come back out of here, back, now we'll see that we actually have a total of two IP cameras here. So we click this one up and have this as the main one either, or just go back into our uh, multi-screen one. So we'll say a six one one here. And that's just basically it. So it's just a handy thing. Once you see us doing it, incredibly simple, but before you know how to do it, uh, tricky. And the reason that we figured it out is we sat there for fucking hours, okay? So that's it anyway, another very informative video, we hope, from uh, experts in CCTV, freetv.ie.